I came here about two weeks after I moved to London from, from Dublin to meet uh, Lisa Macon, who was the, uh, or, uh, the casting director. Um, she brought me in uh, to uh, read for Conor McPherson's um, play Dublin Carol, which actually opened this, uh, uh, the, new, the new, newly refurbished court. So I have incredible um, memories of, of, the, of these seats even going in. And this was all brand new and all the dressing rooms, which just seemed incredibly modern and everything. And uh, being the uh, slightly nerdy boy, I was, I was so excited. I had my camcorder with me. And uh, I, I went all the way down the thing, and I was like, these are the new lights. And I came into the theatre, and I have, I, I'm sure I have the footage at home somewhere. And I went down into the into, into what was down, then a restaurant, which is now the bar. And I went up through that entrance in Sloan Square, which I don't think is open to the public. And as I, as I was as I came up, it was a bit of Spielberg here. I sort of came up, and as I was coming up, just as luck would have it, the the oar of the Royal Court sign was being put up. I was like, "Whoa! This is the new the new Royal Court sign. The old one is now in in the bar." And uh, I really remember just going, "God, this is re- really really exciting." I was immediately struck by, by um, by, by the the history of the of the the um, the theatre, even though it was a, re- a relatively young theatre, but that really exciting stuff had had happened there, and that was incredibly addictive. We we sat here just before it opened, um, and I think I, I think the refurb had gone on for about three years, and Ian Rickson um, was here, and uh, there were three actors in it: Brian Cox and Brona Gallagher and myself, and we. We sat on the stage um, in lighting a little bit like this, and um, we all had to make a wish for the for the for the for the newly opened um, uh, court, and um, so it was really really special. We lit a candle. It was really 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 beautiful, and uh, I was the very first actor to stand on the new re- refurb for refurbed um, stage. So I'm very very proud of that. <laughs> I feel incredibly at home here more than m- most of my work has been here. I've done uh, six or seven, se- seven plays here over the past sort of 10 years. And we did um, a season of um, Sarah Kane plays. We did, I was in Crave and uh, uh, James MacDonald did 448 Psychosis. And Crave was extraordinary because we all sat uh, in, in, in our production. We, the, the, uh, the 448 Psychosis was down here in the stalls, on the, on, on, they took out the seats and the stage was here and the audience were there. And then on this part, on the, on the, on the circle, was Crave. Oh, it's really extraordinary when I think about it. I find it quite moving, actually. And we were up there and um, we went on at seven and, and uh, to a little small space up there while, while, that, went, while that went on just later on. And um, the, some of the lines of, of set from Crave I, they come to me, you know, because it, there's just something about the, the poetry and, and I hadn't seen um, our been in plays that were that uh, sort of um, provocative before. Um, I think for me, they sum up what the Royal Court is about because I find them incredibly um, challenging um, and uh, really, really uh, devastating um, plays. Um, and that they left me with a feeling of, of, of a lot of discomfort, which I think is one of the, the main... Um, um, objectives of the Royal Court, in a way, is to make people feel a little, what the hell is this? Um, but I remember at the time, I, was, I remember I was sort of falling in love at the time, and uh, I found as somebody, a young person who was uh, full of life and full of um, hope and all that kind of stuff, I found a lot of that in her work as well. And, uh, and the fact that those things can coexist in, in, a, in a sort of package that's um, challenging and also deeply, deeply... Um, deeply heartfelt, I think, is, um, is amazing. And... Uh, what I love about the Royal Court is that is that you don't necessarily. Sometimes you go to escape, and sometimes you go to be challenged, and you go to go. That really fi- that has fired me up, and that's made me feel uncomfortable, and I'm questioning something that I that I uh, that I didn't before, and I'm aware of something uh, that that I wasn't before. Um, there's always going to be something that's just a little, little, um, uh, little different, and uh, I think people really love that. And I hate the idea that people who go to the the, the theatre um, just want to be f- spoon-fed something that they've seen before. I actually, I, I really think that people get so excited by something that they've never seen before. Some people don't like it, but I, I think most people who come to the Royal Court and have the expectation of um, of, of of being challenged, whether it's visually or um, emotionally or uh, some part of it is going to is going to be a little bit skew with. I've always l- absolutely loved the the 
um, manifesto of the right to fail. Um, um, because I think any good artistic endeavor has to begin with the, the, the idea of I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be, and 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 I've I've always I've always loved in working here the idea of really mad sets or really crazy ideas that the the team are incredibly um, incredibly enthusiastic and the, how do we make this work and uh, and and to deliver however crazy the um, the, um, the the request is. This is a small theatre, but it's got a huge huge. Um, reputation um, because something that, exper- that, that that people experience in here is massive and there's something epic about the, the space. Um, so the idea of that being valuable, that whatever you create, even if some people it's wacky um, or, or um, not for them, uh, it's 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 an inc- incredibly valuable, and 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 that value is not placed on how many people are in the audience, or if it gets a West End transfer, or if they're famous, famous um, uh, pe- people on the stage, or if it's a famous writer. That's that. None of that. The work. That's why um, I think the idea of, of of being an actor in 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 the working at the World Court is there's something very comforting actually about knowing that it's a writer's theatre, because. People talk a lot about the relationship between <coughs> directors and writers, and and the thing that's been so wonderful for me um, working here is is my relationship with with the, with the writer and the writer actor dynamic. I always think I always think they're very at, at one with each other. And um, some of the the writers that I've worked with here, Simon Stevens and Mike Bartlett and Christopher Shin um, and Conor McPherson, all all those brilliant people. I feel so. Um, uh, Honored to to have been able to to um, to sort of get to know them in, in their work, and sometimes more than once, and that's 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 incredibly important to get to know that that's what comes first, because it makes you feel safe as an actor. You, it makes you feel like any of that, the rest of that other stuff is is not is not important. Of course, that comes into it, and I'm not saying that the actor isn't respected here, but it that's the that's the primary thing and you can't you can't make a great production out of a out of a bad play or you know you just can't it's got to start with them the work the writing if the royal court didn't exist i wouldn't have um seen some of the most um challenging and exciting and hilarious i have to say that's another thing um really funny work um um that i've ever seen i wouldn't have the relationship that i have with um, these in- incredible writers i wouldn't have had um um um, employment um i wouldn't have had um a huge amount of um the huge amount of friends that i have uh, um that i've met here um and i wouldn't um i wouldn't have this that that's that sort of sense of belonging um that i that i i really feel every time i i, I walk into the building